Peng. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos, no? Carlos Ramos. Uh, Ramos. Carlos Ramos. From, uh, she owns her own business, Echo Technica. Technonic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a tongue twister. Good afternoon, everyone. And that was... <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy to see everyone. I, I told Miss D, wow, a lot of participants for today. And what month was that, ma'am? Our session? Yeah, that, uh, that was our session, month of June. And what's, what's really significant about it is that I really decided to go for it, even with the obstacles of whether or not I'll be available to do it. And it's one of those decisions that I would say, personally, it would have been a regret if I did not do it. So the, the mere fact that you are all here, you're already a winner. That, that decision alone, you're already a winner. And as Miss D shared with us during our session, we ha we actually have the same set of modules that you have right now. It's the same set of modules, but what would make it special is how you actually participate and interact with everyone here because we all have a different story. So I'm just so lucky also that my classmates during th that session is I know hi classmate. <laughs> I know. I know are the perfect people for me to be with during that time. So whoever, so the, the group members that you have right now are the right people for what you need. Yes. So it, it's, it's really very enlightening to participate in this one and to again revisit our, our strengths, our weaknesses, and what would be our next steps. Personally, before I would really be immediately be affected by external matters wherein I do not have any control but then it would take my energy imagine that but after the winner's edge really this this has been my my what what I've been practicing now I would ask myself is it my problem really is it my problem and then I would find out no it's not my problem it's somebody else's problem I'd rather focus on what I can do so it really has an effect and just also to share, I, I know we have we have financial struggles. It's part of daily living. But after this one, I do not really know. For some reason, I would take things in a different perspective. Like, amura lang <laughs> yan. It's not that I have that I really have the the, the money at hand. It's just that my thinking has been ah yan, and things would really work out on its own. So it's really how we see things, where we focus our energy, and what do we do with that energy? So a lot of things actually, so I'm really excited for everyone, especially for your day two, uh, the exercises that you have participated in, how you actually have reflected on it. Yung talaga yung take away ninyo later, that's really what you would be looking back after this one. And every day is always a fresh, chance i even told miss d and sir dino before i'm actually not very happy with change the, the mere the mere uh word of change even way way back it would be it would bring me a lot of uneasiness but learning here the change is actually that particular step that you would that would actually open up a lot of, of opportunities is actually very true so ano lang, inhale exhale and then i'll change game na tayo <laughs> so that's it i i'll be staying a while so i hope i can i be able to chat with everyone uh and just a quick in just a quick introduction about myself aside from what miss d have informed you i'm a practicing architect but the practice is focused on sustainability and green buildings mm. so this is what i do and uh, i have a, a team with me and there are challenges every day but again it's a matter of perspective thank you and enjoy good afternoon thank you mom. <laughs>
Good afternoon. Gwen, how are you? Good. Good on a rainy Friday. <laughs> well, it certainly is. But the rain doesn't dampen your positivity. And I have a feeling that positivity has a secret behind it. Uh, when could you tell our viewers a little bit about yourself, what you do, and how you came to be the winner that you are? To, to have a reminder that I am a winner. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, especially. And to, yes, our, to our viewers and those who would want to take that important step towards being a winner. Quick introduction I am Rowan and I'm Pastor John Moss. I am the practice in and I focus on sustainability. Basically, this is really looking at uh, the entire development towards sustainability, doing building developments. So that's what I, on the positive, positivity behind this, I would say I would like to think of each day as a positive thought at the start. But one thing that I really go back into the past months was really the participation. Really, it's I would I would never be a buyer of of sharing this but it was one decision that it was so important and I was so happy that I made the decision that I would participate. You know what? That very day when I said when I told myself, Yes, I'm coming, I will participate. My mindset was I will not be so I choose one. No, no faults on that. I will just focus on myself and what I'm able to learn from the participants. So I'm not there to 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 look at the program entirely, pick on things. No, I want to be. I want to be in participant wholeheartedly. And I think really help a lot. That that day one itself really help a lot on the on the positive note. So you're saying you, you decided to be a sponge yes. and just throw everything up yes. and you think. And actually, it's, it has this sense of freedom when you do that. When you're not really so controlling of the outcomes, <laughs> but you really just want to learn and get to know people. Aside from, aside from the, the, the usual people that do it. Oh, by the way. Uh, for everyone's benefit, uh, Wang is a classmate of another winner who is also now co-facilitating the winner's edge, and that is Nancy Berabin. Yes, so proud to be her classmate. So yeah. I hope I could I can also be a part of the of the of giving out the training. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sure with with your attitude and your positivity, many things, many possibilities can open up. Tell me about your journey. Uh, before the winter session, what were you like? Before the winter session, it was really more on looking at things. All the hypothesis, looking at things. One item of my mind. But, but, before the winning sketch, it was really overwhelming because I want to make that right away, right uh, away yeah. and with the result. Yes. <laughs> that, 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 that's very me. But after the winning sketch, things are basically the same in terms of challenges because that's, that's how businesses, practices are really. So there are challenges. But, Still looking at things one item at a time, but now I know how to pause. So, think first and then come up with possible solutions and then see what would work. And I think it isn't out of this form. It can tell a lot. Give it time. Give it time. Look at it in such a way that don't rush the things. <laughs> So I think it, it will actually help. Like, oh, for me, even for my, it just for my, I think it translates. It translates to them that uh, there is this particular period where they first thing before act. Rather than react, 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 
<laughs> so if I could maybe synthesize what you shared for for when in the past the uh, outer world with a major influence on the thought processes and maybe even your mindset more exactly. For example, if you express the desire to see results quickly. Uh, in other words, uh, things that were tangible, things that were measurable, were really very important. Not that they're no longer important, but what I'm seeing, what I'm seeming to get from you is that now you're saying because of what you learn, you develop a new way of looking at things where the outside world doesn't influence your thoughts and your actions as much as your inner world is the one that sets the control or, or decides on how you react in the game. Thank you for solving it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because yes, yes, it is. Before it would be me in the action in the external. Now it's me looking at the internal so I can decide on, on the other other items around in a better perspective. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, any thoughts about other potential entrepreneurs or other Ladies with, with dreams, and yours started them. Uh, if it was just uh, an idea at the time, nurtured it, grew. And now, because of having the right mindset, you're able to make it grow. But uh, you have a team, as you said. And her, her passion is now in. Uh, in buildings which are green and sustainable, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So you're, you're making a profit out of it, but you're also helping the environment and making the future look better for the country, for the occupants of those buildings, for the future. Yes. So any advice to, to somebody who might be starting out and hoping to make a difference. For just starting out, there are a lot of us who can guess that that's a given. True. <laughs> that's a given. But but if you believe you know in your heart something that you really want to do. Stay with it. And, uh, the challenges are there, but but changes don't come overnight. Success is not an overnight thing. So again, the boss is with and keep on working on it, on it. And, the, and I think one thing I think if I would, if I would affirm myself, I I do not complain about the work itself. I do not complain about full load schedule. No, it's really a matter of managing it. And if you really love what you do, you really find time. You really find time. So for those who are maybe on the startup, as soon as you have decided that this is or whatever it is that you want, go for it. Go for it. Find time. Study. Learn. Apply what you what you learn in. And what then? Go out of your comfort zone, which is actually hard for me. Yeah. And and participating in the business edge is actually not the comfortable zone for me, but I decided. I need this for myself, I'll go for it. And it didn't help her. And continuously helping me. It didn't stop during the just the month of the of the training or of the counter review people behind me I said, no, it's it's a daily process. And loving the process is I think what makes it more special. Uh, of course, uh... Not everything is as easy as sometimes people might think it is for us. You probably had some some bumps along the way. A lot. <laughs> oh, okay, a lot, a lot. Along, along the way. But the research I think also gave you resiliency. That one of the things that gave me this case is more of I was able to reflect what my resiliency. That's more. 
because uh, although we are we can actually say that we're done, almost done with the pandemic, but those days were really difficult, really, really, and uh, and retaining the the business, the practice, and the team is actually I know for myself. We did, we did it. We were able to overcome uh, no, those years. But really the message is it highlighted my strengths. And yes, that oh, you're a voice of resiliency. You just, you're just not so aware of it prior to this, prior to the session on the fingers. And so, uh, when? Thank you so much for sharing your testimony. Thank you. Thank you for this time. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. My privilege. And also, I'd like to say that Wayne over here is living proof about what Dr. Wayne said, where he said, uh, failure is the fertilizer of success. Uh, Wayne didn't get to where she is now because things were easy. She got to where she is now because she chose to face the difficulties as they came and grow from it. So I would always love you summarizing things for me. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. And as ever, please remember that learning is a never-ending journey with limitless business. Good day. <laughs>